biggest motivation is my parents. I just said. Good answer. <laughs> <laughs> um, to see like what they go through, you know, struggle they had went through to to get me to where I am now, and you know the support that they given me. I feel like I owe them something as well, you know. And um, I feel like I I want to I want to see them out of out of here. I want to get them a mansion, get them cars, you know, you know, do that kind of thing. So. I mean, that, that's definitely a big motivation right there. Just to see my parents, you know, get them out of here, get them out of this area, you know. It's definitely a good motivation. Um, basketball definitely kept me in shape. I always kept me in shape. Um, I would never want to be out of shape when I played ball, you know. So I would, like, do my push-ups, you know, sit-ups. I would run. And on, Outside in the playground, I would do a couple, you know, suicides. Always kept me in shape. And the thing is that I, anytime somebody was playing ball, invited me to go play basketball, whether it was a practice or whether it was just open gym, I would go. So I play ball every day now, and I, I mean, it keeps me shape, keeps me eating right, you know, um, drinking insoles and and and, right. <laughs> and uh, I mean, it keeps me on the ball with my with my, my body. My physique, you know, keep definitely keeps me on the ball. Oh man, my favorite meal. <laughs> Food. <laughs> favorite <laughs> meal. Cooked by my mother would be chicken parmesan, rice, and fried broccoli. Mm. <laughs> That's great. Yeah, we, and we, have to, we have to write this down. By, by my father would be breakfast. Oh man, he definitely could cook us some breakfast. Omelets? Oh man, he definitely could throw down some omelets. Some omelets, bacon, some pancake waffles. Yeah, definitely. He got, he, he has breakfast. She yeah. has the dinner part. <laughs> I got lunch. <laughs> so that's cool. One of my goals, my short-term goals, is to be at Monroe College uh, in September, playing for them. Um, I actually start in May, taking classes. Uh, I, um, I would say a longer-term goal was to be in a Division One school, four-year school at that. Hopefully, Binghamton University. It has my major that which I would love to major in is zoology. Um, I would definitely like to major in that. Uh, even longer term goal is to hopefully make it overseas. Um, definitely get a degree. Definitely, that's hands down. But after that, you know, to to take basketball to the to the next level, you know, get get a contract. Hopefully overseas, maybe even to the NBA. ABA, you know, it's to, just to take basketball to the next level. And if that doesn't work, then I have a degree to fall back on in zoology. So I would definitely, either way, I'll be doing something I like to do, I love to do. Oh, man, really have. Really have. He's a good, good guy, man. Definitely a good guy. Helps me out with everything. Um, definitely been there for me. That's one of the guys I can definitely count on with anything. It's always been there for me, um, always putting me, pushing me to go further, um, telling me what I need to do, what I need to work on, and getting me into schools and stuff. Uh, this summer, I mean, we were looking to take a championship, man, trying to bring a championship home for the Willie Howie All-Stars. I mean, as he said, we are the underdog, so take one of the championships home, prove everybody wrong. What what does Willie Howie do um, in terms of his vision and the types of players he brings along to actually play for him? Um, basically, what he looks for is players that that want it, players that that that's gonna play defense. Because honestly, he says we can do whatever we want on offense, but as long as we play defense, he he he's fine. So um, he basically looks for players that play defense, and he wants to bring in players that have good chemistry and, and experience. 
you know, so we can form a, a franchise team and try to take this championship. So.